じゃあ、すまんせいやめる。次回から、ファースピはい、ありがとうございます。Yeah, this one I'm definitely gonna check out as well. And did you see, guys, the new Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising、uh, game is gonna have a free version with basically Grand, who's gonna be free to play, and like three characters who are gonna be on rotation and that you'll be able to play like、uh, temporarily, but、uh, that, that you'll be able to play in a rotation type of、uh, situation, which is pretty slick if you ask me. If you also have the opportunity to pick the free version and buy, you know, characters、uh, individually, that would be freaking sick. Even though I don't think it's gonna be the case. Yo, Kai,、okay, in long time no see, you're into 6-9 stuff right now. <laughs> How is any man not into 6-9 stuff? <laughs> It is about FGC things, right? Of course, of course, wink wink. <laughs> League of Legends model. Yeah, that would be pretty sick if you ask me. Like, seriously, I really hope if they'll do it like this. Like, The, they, they, they'll make it like、uh, free, ver free to play and you buy whichever character you want, basically. Because, yeah, no, not everybody wants to have like a base roster. They just want, literally, just want to play with one character and that's it, you know? So, which is basically my, <laughs> this is basically my style as well. Like, I, I really like,、uh, I like, I'm usually a character loyalist. I'll usually only pick one character and never like play any other character in the game. So, If they actually do this type of style, I'd be really ecstatic. And look at the damage, holy freaking lord. Even though Gold Lewis has like one of the best health and, and guts in the game. <laughs> like, like Ram is like, nope, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, let me check the brackets real quick, guys, just so to see if everything is going fine. It should be the case, anyways. Okay, everything is doing pretty good. Okay, and good stuff from Neri, just like going right through r o b o d u s right now. <laughs> Uh, without having any sort of problems at all, but it's still okay. It's still just the second round, actually, second round of the second match. Actually, wow, that was an unfortunate burst from Robodasi, burst right into the throne sword of Neri, which is really unfortunate. Exactly, a game where you just want your character available would be so good. Exactly, man. In that case, you could literally just do like the free to play model and just have people buy the characters individually. I feel like it would be a, a better incentive. Maybe just have like the main character, just, just like、uh, freaking Grand Blue is doing right now. You have just the main character, and then you buy whichever、uh, additional character that you want, and that's it. Yeah, that should be it. Make it the skins as well, make, make it payable and shit. Make the. the, the, the、um, you can make everything payable, but just make it so that the, that, like, the game itself is. Is, is free to play. I feel like it would be so easy. Like, give a couple of stage, give one character and then rotational like characters, just like Grand Blue, and then buy whichever character you want to buy, you know? I feel like that would be awesome. But, you know, yeah, people need to make money and corporations also need to be lucrative, so I understand. They need to please the,、uh, the shareholders as well, so it's, yeah, it's easier said than done, but it's me, my, my dream, if I have a dream. If you're playing on multiple devices, you don't need to buy the full game. Yeah, exactly, that's it, man. Exactly, man. Exactly. And I think that.、Uh, what's, what's their name again?、Uh, the guys from、uh, LOL, League of Legends, they're gonna do the same thing with Project L, in my understanding. 
that is going to be a free-to-play model and you just buy the character, whichever character you want. Which is which is fine, which is should be the... Um, I don't want to say should be the standard because I know that, yeah, you know, making a game is not... It's not cheap. I definitely understand. But I feel like there's a lot of customer milking in that industry, if you ask me. Like, character DLC characters which are planned even though the game has only been out for like one week or something like this. I feel like, okay, well you could have just put them directly in the base game, no? But anyways, it's me being a, a very stingy individual. Anyways, here we go with Neri taking the first map very, very convincingly, by the way. Three, two, one. Amato, the, uh, I'm gonna call him the, um, the student of Leo. He's really, really strong. Very strong uh, Faust player. And uh, has a tendency of making like top 8 very, very, very uh, often in the Brojo Cup, so definitely no slouch. Uh, and anyways, here we go. No, his opponent is none other than DJ Hameyama, very strong uh, Giovanna player, so definitely uh, Amato will have to play, uh, they, they'll both have to respect each other, I feel, because both have a very, very high uh, level. That being said, both are out of burst right now. The person who gets open will have to eat the full amount of very nice grab right there to prevent DJ Hameyama from going on the trumpet. However, here we go with DJ Hameyama not afraid to just dash forward and bring in the pain. Gotta respect that bomb. Ah, so ka. Ah, sreishimashita. Amato san chao ka. Are? Yeah. アマトさんのはずです。今。え、どういうことかき氷さん。これ、まあ、名前だけ同じ人、ああ、わかりました。了解です。オッケー。別の人かと思って。全く関係のない人かと思ってたんだけど、アマトさんですよね、結局。名前だけがちょっと違うっていうことですよね。オッケー、びっくりした。なんか最初からやらああ
and gets the second game as well. Um, Amato looking very strong today. Definitely in a very good shape, as we can see. Let's see if he's capable uh, to seal the deal. We shall see. Still one more match for Amato to seal it out. Back to the neutral. Uh, Dikamayama tried to go in. Managed to get the hit on block, but yeah, the Abari from Amato made it so that he uh, was able to get out of pressure and also force DJ Hameyama to pop the burst. That being said, DJ Hameyama looking pretty good in that corner. Got rid of Amato's uh, uh, burst and should be able to seal it with the overdrive. Good stuff from DJ Hameyama. Definitely looking to uh, put one on the board at least, try to shift that momentum. Amato doing a good job of keeping Corona out though. Oh, uh, here we go with the jump in. A little bit too high in the sky in order to get the follow up on the ground. And Amato takes this opportunity to bring the heat in the corner. Where is he? Ooh, that was a pretty... <laughs> that that was a pretty interesting sequence right there from Amato. Not sure if he really knew what he wanted to do. That freaking takes throw. No, should go the Nasante. The double Nasante managed to find the hit in. Not enough to kill though. That being said, uh, DJ Hame, I'm on the verge of taking this one out. Wow, I got in tired. Got the follow up with the mix, mix, mix. Should be able to get, yeah, the wall break. Oh, no, he didn't use the overdrive. That would have been the perfect opportunity. Probably, probably not enough to kill. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that is so cheeky. And the Abari for DJ Hame, for the kill. Finally manages to put one on the board. Good stuff from DJ Hame, won't go down without a fight, that is the least we can say. And on to the next battle. Nice start of the round for DJ. Managed to get rid of that burst. Ah, gotta respect the bomb, bro. That's why we say. Very nice 6 right there from Amato. Uses the Scarecrow to get out of the corner. Also, ooh, managed to get the, the trumpet right there. To bring the cavalry in. Ah, DJ Hameyama with the 2D counter hit. Couldn't quite get the pitch, the, the follow-up pick, uh, pick up though. Be able to keep the corner positioning thanks to the bomb. He'll go with the spear. Okay, nice jump in from Amato. Has the cavalry to keep. Oh, no! And DJ Hameyama just letting it rip. Good stuff from DJ Hameyama. Gets, gets killed. Gets hit by the 6P of Amato, unfortunately for him. But it's gonna be the mix. Wow, oh, that read, man. I don't know if he would have been able to finish the deal. Goes for the tap dusk, gets the side switch, should be able to get the kill with the wall bounce. And just like this, man, Amato on a set point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Wow, the double Nasante right there. The triple Nasante from Corona. Wow, manages to get that 2 HP counter, uh, 2 HS counter hit. I'm playing Street Fighter these days, so. My. My uh, my lingual might be a little bit off if uh, if I might say very nice spear gets the follow up with the club and little Faust is here to play. Why you don't want to play with me? Let you let me hit you then. Oh wow! Using the teleport to not get hit by Nasante and punishing him. Good stuff from Amato. Takes it three to one. A very that's very mean goal Louis versus. One that rocks none other than cheap Zenith. Both very strong. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, if I have to say, it will all depend on reads and on reactions. If Hoshino manages to get the opening, then Eto's life is definitely going to melt as if it never existed in the first place. But that being said, Eto does have the oh does have the corner positioning. Let's see if he uh, is capable of keeping it. That being said, the the annoy. Oh lord! And the wake up VP man. Eto not giving an F. Woo. Very nice with punish right there on the Bahamut. The the Bahamut. Yes, I have played Final Fantasy 16 as well. The Behemoth. I'm sorry. Wow, oh, that confirmed though. Good stuff from Eto. Ooh, forces Hoshino to pop the burst. Gets the whiff punish. Couldn't quite get the extension though. Goes for the tick. Oh lord! The goal! Oh lord! Nice block by Eto. It's not over till it's over though. Anything can give it. Very nice Abari from Eto. Thought that, yeah, probably knew that Hoshino was definitely gonna block that. And here we go with the fake out using the RC to get the 
Low in the kill. Very nicely done by Ito. Gets the first round. Let's see how this turns out. Look, <laughs> the Abari with the standing keys, man. Whew. Okay, Osino you know, definitely bleeding right now. And Ito, ooh, dropped the combo, unfortunately. Probably it's not a thing. I'm not quite sure. Ooh. And you can see Ito, man, using these pesky standing keys. Uh, again with. Uh, ooh, Lord. And. Uh, oh! Okay, don't get open, don't get open. Oh, again, man, the standing feet, they're doing everything. They're stopping Hoshino in uh, on his track. They're anti-airing him. It's doing everything in their mother, man. Okay, good stuff from Hoshino. Finally out of... Wow, even gets the, the corner switch. Gotta hold on. Ah, uh, the mine is out. Yeah, don't jump. That's what he wants you to do. Oh, Lord, is he gonna get the kill? No! Oh, Lord. How did it will not get the 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 yellow uh, the golden burst? Uh, maybe he was still on the process of waking up. Yeah, that's the reason why. But good stuff from Itoman man. They just take the first round, the first match actually. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the uh, pressure from Ito trying to get that knockdown. Finally gets it. Did get a side switch as well. Gets the counter hit. Managed to bait the burst, and here we go in corner land. Actually, no, we're going in reset land, but it's still okay. It's gonna get his hand on that very, very much needed. Wow, gets aerial behemoth right in the face, though. Ooh. Nice blocks from Ito. Don't get open. Don't get open. Ah, jumping 2D, my friend. I love you. Oh, even catches the back dash. Oh, goes for the overhead. Very nice block by Hoshino. Wow, oh, how do you not get hit by this? How do you not get hit by this, man? Good lord. Good stuff from Ito, man. Definitely changed his playstyle ever since he first uh, started participating in the Rojo Cup. And it has been doing wonders for him. He's actually bringing some uh, pretty nice tournament results this time around. Ito does. Extremely, um, extremely aggressive chip player. Uh, unlike Tsuboi, who's a little bit more reactive and who's also a very good chip player who's uh, currently participating in the Rojo Cup, they both have a very, very... Um, different playstyle, and it definitely shows. Hopefully, we'll get to see Two Boy playing as well. Uh, anyways, very nice whip on it from Ito, and again manages to get the bait on the burst. Very nicely done by Ito. He's like two to zero. What is Hoshino gonna do? We shall see. Hoshino san gambare. And uh, yeah, Two Boy is currently where is Two Boy? Ah, uh, Two Boy is okay. He's sitting in. Uh, a little bit later, he's gonna have to fight against Oni Dark Knight for a little, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard. Anyways, and here we go with the overhead. Oshino finally popping in the burst again with that pesky, that pesky mine. Ah, uh, here we go, the fake cross up. Try, oh, went with the fake cross up again. This time around, goes for it with the real cross up, and finally, Oshino managing to seal the deal this time around. Good stuff from Oshino. Let's see if he can actually manage to take the second one. Oh, very nice back there, though. Here we go with the cross up. How do you block that? Get the juggle and the gamma blade. Oh, goes for the command grab. Ito, man. This guy knows no fear. Gamma blade. Nope. Oh, goes for the fake cross up again, man. It's been playing a huge number on the Hoshino, man. Dealing ever so. Oh, that boy punish, though. He even gets the freaking overhead. The Sukiyaki for the kill. Good stuff for from Eto. Let's see if he can manage to seal the deal again with the standing key man for the entire. Okay, forcing Hoshino to pop the burst. Yeah, well that, that was that was. Oh Lord, no, not like this. Uh, you're in the corner. You have to hold it. Yeah, Hoshino. Ah, uh, gets entire once again. Oh, uh, can be a bar from Eto, man. The standing piece have been the bane of Hoshino. It's definitely not been working in his favor. Anyways, here we go with the wall break. Hoshino definitely bleeding right now, but they're still okay. I mean, just one hit from him is enough to uh, get the... Ooh, the kill! That being said... Oh, Lord! And the... Oh, Lord, what is going on? Ito playing out of his freaking mind takes it a clean three to sing Naguri Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. So samurai battle this time around. Uh okay, let me check real quick. I'm gonna call him zombie. Zombie Dei Desana. Sorry. There you go. 
Okay, we're good. Okay, perfect. So, first start of the round. Mugi with the Beyblade pushes Zombie in the corner. Okay, and Zombie having to, um, to enter all of this. Oh, very nice. Delayed burst. Made it so that Mugi wasn't able to bait it out. Oh, very nice side switch. Definitely caught Mugi off guard right there. Managed to get out of the corner. Very nice combo right there. Still has Mugi uh, in the corner. Ooh, Mugi finds the opening with the two, uh, the two, um, the two S, two H S, the standing S H S. Very nice follow up to the Kabar. Should be able to get the kill. And this should do. Yes, it is. Good stuff from Zombie. Not using the uh, overdrive because knowing that it takes a little bit of time and probably wants to move on to the next battle as quickly as possible. That being said, here we go with Mugi and the command grab. Manages to get the tick pressure. Gonna get the wall break. Now this spins out. Oh, Lord, the 2S counter. Hit. And Zombie just holding on to it. Yeah, Mugi gonna close it out with the overdrive. Good stuff from Mugi. This round lasted 12 seconds. <laughs> Very quick round from Mugi takes it with a perfect. Very nicely done. And Mugi already having Zombie in the corner, forcing him to pop the burst. <clears throat> ah, here we go with the 6P. Nice decision from Zombie to actually uh, block it and not committing to any hit, but still, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Mugi taking it with a double P, bro. What the hell? Definitely not the best Nagoriyuki in Japan for, uh, for for nothing. This is the reason why Mugi is so good. It's that he's capable of pulling off these types of very, very nice, uh, these nice rounds. That being said, Zombie definitely not out of it yet as the corner positioning. Nah, unfortunately for Zombie, it caught, gets caught by the, uh, by the, the Nagoriyuki clone. Nice 6p again from Mugi. Manages to get the follow-up. Oh, but drops it. A little bit too far for the uh, the, um, the zone of the uh, of the roaming cancel to actually hit a zombie and make it uh, and make them juggleable, if I might say. Anyways, here we go with the jump in from zombie. Goes for the double Yozon Sand. Should be able to. Is he gonna be able to close it out? Is that gonna kill? Nah, it's not gonna kill. Good try from Zombie though. Gonna get a Okizeme, a pretty good one at that. Goes for the empty grab and gets it. Zombie takes the first round of the second match. Let's see if they can continue in that fashion. We shall see. <clears throat> Very nice take right there from Zombie. Let me check the bracket real quick. Just want to make sure that everybody uh, is good. That there's no delay either. Oh, there we go. Mm, so this is good. Wow, the counter hit right there from Zombie forcing Mugi to pop the burst. Ah, there you go, Mugi. You got Kabarid. Oh no, Mugi getting hit by the Yozansen. Nice take pressure right there. Ooh, I think that was a safe jump. And it is. Ooh, but it's still okay, Mugi. Having the. Add the additional bars to make it safe. And again, Mugi getting hit by the follow-up of the Kabari. Man, it's been it's the second time he gets hit by it. And Zombie taking the second match. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Putting one on the board. Very nicely done. Again on. Oh Lord! Oh no! That was a bad burst. Or Zombie. Or Zombie in the corner without any burst to. Uh, to ask Mugi to gently get off of them. Wow, nice jump in by Zombie. Be able to get some pretty nice damage. Goes for the cross up, Yozan Sen. Good stuff. Here we go this time around. He's in front. Try to go for another uh, Yozan Sen. This time around, Mugi was ready. Oh. Go with the Kabari. Woo! And here we go the corner positioning. What the hell? No way! Zombie with the freaking Hiragi right when Mugi went with the Beyblade. That was sick. Good stuff from Mugi. From, from uh, Zombie. 
Anyways, here we go with Zombie again, man, with that jump in combo that did a large amount of money, uh, of, of damage, of money. Of money, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, wow, but this is gonna be big for Mugi. Unfortunately for him, he did pop the blood explosion. Okay, still get okay, anybody, yeah. Oh, no, and the aerial, you're something for the kill. Man, Zombie taking the lead, 2 to 1, man, it looks so one-sided at the very first, when they first uh, did the, uh, well, the first round, basically, the first match. But right now, man, Zombie definitely bringing it back, man. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this pans out. Zombie getting hit by the uh, Nagori DP. Nice to hit Chess, wasn't able to get the juggle off of it. Oh, Lord, here we go with the Tatami guy. She goes for, uh, actually goes for the empty grab again with the close man the close hs and this time around oh lord ah nice two hs this should be it good stuff from moogie definitely not going down without a fight let's see if he's capable of uh taking this one as well Woo! big jump in from zombie oh lord Good confirm from Mugi. Ah, uh, gets the two HS. And the bite. And the other bite. And gets Zombie with the tick pressure with the wall break. Very nicely done by Mugi. Definitely not going down without a fight. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going on to the next, the final battle of this set. Very nice set, by the way. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ooh. Big six spear right there. Zombie definitely not wanting to get hit by the, the bite. Oh no, that was an unfortunate burst by Zombie. Gonna eat the full overdrive. What is he gonna do? Wasude Yuki indeed. What is gonna happen? We shall see. Here we go with the Fukyo into close S into death. Boogie on set point. He's gonna be able to seal the deal. Nice 2S right there from Zombie gets it by the DP though. Ah, nice Abari right there from Zombie. Definitely needed this one. Ah, forces the Kabari on Mugi. And the Kabari is set. And man, Zombie with the side switch. Unfortunately for him, the effect of the Kabari was right at the finish. It right in the middle of his uh, of his combo that was so unfortunate for him. That being said, still okay, it can definitely go either way. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice. Take pressure. Good lord, the blocks are real. The blocks are real. And again with the empty grab, man. It's been doing so much for him. But it's still not over till it's over. Ah, oh, Lloyd got caught by the bag. The, the closest man. And just like this, man. Moogie sending. Hagira versus Hagiara. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, two more fights before the... Okay, we're good. <clears throat> we're running... Pretty good. Pretty good, real. Okay, here we go with Hagiara in the jump and getting the OTG. Wow, managed to use the guard point to negate whatever move Akira was trying to do. Nice opening right there from Akihira. Gonna get the wall break. <coughs> See how this spins out. Oh lord, the double Fukio went straight into a minion, unfortunately for him. See how this spins out. And Hagia trying to go for the grab, manages to catch the bag dash with the standing HS and go straight into the illusion driver for the kill. Oh no, not the kill. Oh, manages to get the follow-up kill. OTG with the 2D. Very nicely done. Okay, well, let's see how this spins out. Oof. It's blocked from Hagira. Ah, Hakira catching that bag dash with the standing S. Goes for the tick pressure. Wow, Hagira really trying to get out of the corner right there. Manages to get the jump in, cross up. And here we go with the corner pressure, forcing Akira to pop the burst. Very nice 6 speed. <laughs> wow, that was such a 4 counter hit. Woof. 
And I got a managing to get the hit. お疲れ様でした、テムさん。ありがとうございます。And here we go with the freaking illusion driver, man. Hagiara definitely playing out of his mind right now. Takes the lead and opens the lead with a 1-2-0. Let's see if Akira manages to bring it back. So it has a lot of opportunities to do so, so we shall see. Definitely not an easy matchup for Nagoriyuki, if you ask me. Yeah, the uh, mobility or lack thereof of Nagoriyuki definitely makes it seem like the matchup is rather in favor of Jacko. But then again, Akira is no slouch. Not your run in the mill, Nagoriyuki. If there's definitely somebody who can bring it back, it is him. But that is not during this particular. Not this particular round, unfortunately, for him. Yo, Zum, how you doing, bro? Welcome back. So let's see how he manages to bring it back. Very nice DP right there, the Nagori DP. Nagori DP. Yeah, Kira trying to get out of the corner. Trying to rush it a little bit. Oh no, hits the guard point yet again. Again with the guard point, man. This has been the bane of him, of, of, of Akira. Ooh, and here we go with the corner pressure. This is the situation you definitely do not want to end into. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, chip, the, the chip damage, bro. Ooh, very nice take right there from Akira. Manages to get out of the corner, gets the hit. Ooh, went for the grab. And got to get the extension with the Roman Cancel. Not enough to kill, unfortunately, for him. If he had used the... Uh, ooh, Lord. Good stuff from uh, Hagela. Not going to be able to kill. And the minion to save the day. And that was an unfortunate burst. But then again, he really didn't have another choice. Hagela taking a pretty comfortable lead. 2-0. to zero. Definitely uh, preventing uh, Akira from really starting and getting his game going using all of the tools of Jacko, especially the guard point which has definitely been the bane of Akira forcing him to burst very nice grab again from Hagiara man here we go with the corner pressure what are you gonna do well you're gonna hold it oh lord even manages to squeeze in a shimmy man that man though good stuff from Hagiara okay Akira man Trying to get something going with the forest. It's go by the 2D counter hit. And just like this, man, Hagiara on set point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. We go with uh, the minions. They are on deck again, man, using the guard point to prevent Akira from pressing any button. Okay, Akira has Hagiara exactly where he wants him. Unfortunately, doesn't check the jump in, and, and Hagiara already out of it, out of the corner that is. Oh Lord, even went comfortably, ran straight towards him to whiff to, to uh, recover, punish him. And that being said, ah, Akira not completely done. Ooh, he went for the air dark necro right there and gets the kill with the command grab. Okay, Akira, not out of this yet. Still needs the next one if he doesn't want to be sent to the loser's bracket. We shall see. Oh man, the next the next fight is gonna be pretty crazy as well. Again, okay, here we go with the corner pressure. No anti-air. Oh lord, in the content too, man. Okay. Here we go, the jump in. Woo! Nice grab from Akira. Oh! Went for the RC, RC uh, bite. That was pretty nice. Oh no, gets jumped in though. Okay, well, side switch right there again. Fell for the shimmy. Agiara going straight for the overdrive. One more opening should be enough. Is he gonna pop the YRC? No, he's not. Okay. Done. Back to the neutral. Uh, Akira not killing them. Uh, I was gonna say zombies, but no, the minions. But for for understandable reason, he doesn't have a lot of life left, and he manages to bait the burst. Akira bringing it back one to two. Let's see if he manages to make a complete comeback. We shall see.
a big consensus right there from Akira. Oh, I was going to say, you should be able to get the wall break. Wasn't exactly the case. Good lord. 2 to 1 for now, but Akira definitely needs this one if he wants to stay in the corner. In the, But yeah, he has a pretty nice health lead. Oh, the big 2HS counter hit into another 2HS and Akira bringing it back, man. Let's see if I get, I can bring, yeah, can shift the momentum this time around because, yeah, it's definitely looking pretty good for Akira for now. Again, I get, I'm getting hit by the Konsetsu. Oof. Get the closest. Oh, no. I get out of the corner. Managed to get two minions out. And here we go with the pressure, man. Again, man. Again with the shimmy. We're diving straight into the Illusion Driver. What is going to be the mix? Ooh, almost got the bag dash right there with the 2D, the 2K. And here we go with the tab dust. Roman cancel for the kill. Set point yet again. Second one for Akira. Oh, the big Fukio into the... Oh, no, the DP. Unfortunately, Akira missed time. His meaty right there and got side switch thanks to the grab from Hagera. Nice jump in, though. Ooh, not enough to kill. Careful there. Went for the tap dust. Oh, uh, man. Hagera definitely needs to hold on to it. Careful there. Ooh, back dash getting ca caught. Okay, Hagera. Gathering his wits. Uh, but then again. Ooh, ooh. ooh big 2 HS. Oh, the big 6B saved by the bell. And Hakihira in a very bad, a very bad situation. Oh, almost got out of it. And the grab, not enough to kill. Hagiara with the mt 2 k 2 d for the kill. And just like this, Hagiara takes it. Not Akira 1. Sorry. Uh, one second. Can I, can I undo them? Just one second, guys. No. Uh, nobody... Okay, nobody predicted, so it's fine. Okay, anyways, uh, so next up, yeah, Oni Dark Necro versus T Boy. Let's see how this turns out. Good. GG, indeed. Okay, what is this? Okay, good to go. Okay, and here we go with T Boy versus Dark Necro, and Dark Necro already with the pretty nice life lead. It is going to be a little bit uh, more tied up given that. So we did manage to get the overdrive. Both of them are still holding on to their over their, their burst. It's crazy. Nice check right there from Two Boy went for the BRC, and here we go with the 2D catching the uh, catching the uh, the consensus so or the um, the Beyblade. Very nicely done. And here we go with Two Boy getting the jump in. Two Boy definitely on point today. Gets a pretty nice amount of damage. Woo! Read the grab attempt, man. Go straight into the OD. And Silverboy, holy freaking lord. Gonna get the wall break. It's gonna be the mix. Here we go with the cross up. Silverboy should be able to seal it. Is he? No, not enough. Unfortunately, mistimed his. Ooh, and the wake up DP. And this should do. No. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, lord. It's not over till it's over. And here we go with Silverboy. Managing to get the kill. It's the first uh, the first match. Very nicely done. Wow. Oh, Dark Necro being a uh, Korean individual, by the way. My bad. Let me change the body real quick. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. The corner pressure. Very nice back dash from Dark Necro. Was able to get some... Uh, got his turn back thanks to it. And here we go with the wake up DP, man. Silboy loves them DPs. Oh, 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 come on! Silboy looking pretty good. Goes for the cross up this time around. Dark Necro was definitely on point. Yeah, saved by the 2D counter hit. Oh! Oh, Lord! And Dark Necro with the standing HS counter hit. Ooh! Wow! I did it not hit the. Get hit by the 6 feet. Ah! Silboy getting a little bit too hungry right there. Committed to the, uh, the Sukiyaki, unfortunately, for him. And got hit by the- Woo! Air Dark Necro in the house, y'all. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, and the DP. Not enough to get. Oh, enough to kill. Luckily for two boy, holy freaking lord. Here we go with the jump in. Oh, unfortunately for him, this probably wasn't the route to take it for this combo specifically. Not much sure. Anyways, Dark Negro Man with the command grab and the life of freaking Chip just melted away, man. That was so sick. And on to the next battle. Oof. Oof. Here we go with the... Ooh, the overhead. Again with the overhead, man. Dark Necro just very comfortable just blocking. Yo, Maurice, how are you doing? Uh, it's pretty good. And here we go with Dark Necro getting the burst bait. Go straight into the wall break. Good lord. Very nice to chest right there. Ooh, Dark Necro unfortunately popped. Ooh, is that gonna be enough to kill? It is! Yep. Still boy going straight into the level 3, I was gonna say, but no. Going straight into the overdrive for the kill. Good stuff from the Nanto Karoga. I forgot the name. But good stuff from Tsuboy. Two two, up 2-0 two to zero against Dark Necro, bro. Pretty crazy. Good stuff. Dark Necro. Oh, Lord! And here we go with the corner. Oh, the corner combos. And the pressure, very nice shimmy from Two Boy. Managed to get that freaking uh, the, the 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 bait on the burst. Good stuff from Two Boy, man. Wow, oh, wakes up with the DP again. And Dark Necro, man, just looking completely lost. Is that gonna kill? Yeah, it's probably gonna kill. It's not. Come on. What <laughs> the come on? And here we go with uh, the Alpha Blade for the kill. And just like this, Tsuboy on set point on the verge of sending Dark Necro in the loser's bracket. Ooh! Very nice success catching the backdash from Dark Necro. Uh, oh, here we go for the opening. Oh no, Dark Necro getting that bait on the DP. And here we go with Dark Necro gonna get the wall break. Using immediately the overdrive. Definitely does not want to, to take any chances this time around. Into the Wasura Yuki. Wasura Yuki. Ooh! Nice grab. Good stuff from Dark Necro. Not out of it yet. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Here we go with Suboy. Hopping the burst. Wanting to get out of all of this pressure. Oh, and the command grab for the kill. Okay, and just like this, Dark Necro putting one on the board. Definitely not going down without a fight. Very nice Lima. Let's see if he can continue this. Go with the jump. Oh lord! And the checks from Dark Necro. Ooh! Oh! And good stuff from Tsuboy. Knew that Dark Necro was... Oh! No! Just let it rip! Not gonna be able to kill though. No, it's not. Gotta do a pretty nice amount of damage though. Ooh, what the hell was that? I wake up DP which clashed with the the far HS. Oh lord, and the mixes are real. Uh, 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 nice blocks though from Dark Necro, man. Damn. And here we go to take pressure. Wow! Do it, man. Holy freaking look with the shimmies. Da, da, da. Ooh. Oh lord! Almost got the kill! Oh lord! What was that? How would you... How would it have been possible to block this? <laughs> the boy with the crazy schmicks, man! Good lord! Okay, here we go with... Ooh, nice, dude! He counter hit! Dog Necro, man! Dog Necro, man! Ooh. Okay, what's gonna be the next layer of schmicks? Oh no, no DP here! No DP allowed in this zone, sir! Dark Necro going with the 6HS. Not wanting to keep his bar. Ooh, nice back dash, though. Not enough. Oof. Oh, here we go with the jump in. Oh, and Tsuboy went for the overhead. And goes straight into the overdrive. It was gonna be the mix. It was gonna be pretty crazy. Oh, nice blocks from Dark Necro. Gets hit by the 2 KTD No! Try to go for Air Dark Necro. Oh, and gets hit by the 2K2D again. 
a glass of water. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry for the wait. And TY actually was down on health but managed to bring all of it back. Look at this. Not out of the woods. Wow, that 2k to low profile. That was so sick. Try to go for the MT. Oh! And here we go with the tab does for the kill. Good stuff from Agera. Takes the first round, actually. Very nicely done. Damn. So many strong players in the Brojo Cup, man. So many. Ah, nice for as well. Oof. And here we go with the Gamma Blade pressure. Nice take right there from Hagala. Again, gets grabbed though. Oh, nice freaking take. Goes for the uh, standing HS to catch the back dash. Oh! Uh oh. Lord! Nice. Oh no! Hagala had the side switch. And this should do. Good stuff from TY. This is the second round. Hmm. There we go with the checks from Hagera. Definitely does not want to overextend. Gets jumped on though. And I should be able to get a wall break. Yes, he does. Probably gonna. Yeah, definitely going to enjoy that positive bonus. Unfortunately for him, gets caught by the 2k2d. Nice blocks from Hagera, but gets opened up by the grab. Oh, Lord, man. That immediate overhead. That was sick. And this should do. Yeah. Oh lord! Fade into the... Oh, to try come out! First... Madge goes to T.Y. Good stuff from T.Y. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Oof! Here we go with the trade. Mainly in favor of... Ah, uh, Hagata again with the 6p, man. Hagata definitely catching on that T.Y. definitely loves to jump on people. Oh, wow, again with the 6p, man. 10 on 10 on that. Finally forcing T.Y. to pop the burst. Oh, again with the 6p, bro. I got a looking pretty good, eh? Okay, here we go with the grab for the kill. I got a taking the first round of the second match. Oof. Nice with punish from T.Y. Ah, uh, trying to push Hagara, but man, Hagara on the, with the, the call out on the Gamma. Gamble all the time, never, almost never got hit by it. Ooh, nice close S. Oh, failed to get the juggle because the uh, the minion was out of juice, unfortunately for him. But it's still okay, looking pretty good now. Just need one more hit and it should do. That being said, never leave TY alive, but nice. Blocks right there from Hagera managed to uh, lift to fight another day. Puts one on the board, actually. We have a tie. Very nicely done. So can Hagera continue in this direction and potentially send T.Y. and the losers? We shall see. Sukiyaki. Ah, uh, gets opened by the uh, Sukiyaki. Oh, and T.Y. man. Wow. Good whiff punishes from T.Y. Definitely just baiting. Hagara to try to run up towards him and either press 2k or 2d and with punishing. Ah, good stuff from T.Y. Let's see who's gonna take this one. T.Y. with the juggles, gets the alpha blade, almost got the juggle again. Oof. A big counter hit right there for T.Y. Goes for the grab. Oof. That was a very courageous backdash, unfortunately, for Hagara. He gets hit by the uh, DP. Gonna get Ototoi command. Slash. 
and the save jump to close it out. UI taking the lead 2 to 1. On to the next battle. Oh lord, no entire this time around for Hagana, which is uh, uncharacteristic. Oof. Nice straight. Ah. TY already putting Hagata in the corner. Go straight into the Ototo Kamo. Ototo Kamo! You're going to jump in. I get I getting opened up. And the optimization station for the kill. Just like this TY on set point. Again, man, with that overhead. Been working a lot for him. Unfortunately, got. Ooh, jumped on. Ah, uh, yeah, I tried to bait the burst, the, the, the DP, but yeah. So I just waited a tiny bit longer and then let the DP rip. Definitely working in his uh, in his favor. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. And here we go with the RC combo from the. From the overhead, oh lord! And TUI just like this makes his way to the winner's final. 3, 2, 1. Very nice. Which is understandable. Okay, next up though is gonna be Tsuboy versus Mugi. Let's see how this ends up. And here we go. Wow, right off the bat, Mugi's. Mugi's just checking Tsuboy, trying to. to uh, to jump on him, checking him with the aerial grab. There you go. Just for reminder and just for information sake, uh, Tsuboy played against uh, Nico, uh, Nico, <laughs> Nico, Dark Necro, Dark Nico. <laughs> played against Dark Necro, Dark Necro. I'm sorry, a little bit earlier and managed to send him in the uh, in the losers bracket. So yeah, definitely Tsuboy no slouch uh, when it comes to the Naguriyuki matchup so let's see if he can manage to send Mugi in the losers as well we shall see dark nickel <laughs> the dark cat and here we go the ooh the empty jump very nicely done the empty low I'm sorry from two boy is the corner carry yeah, Mugi getting opened up by the 2d counter hit fortunately two boy dropping his combo he gets opened by Mugi and Mugi, ooh, try to go for the grab, for the bite. Ah, Tsuboy again with the cross-up. Should go directly into the Ototoi Kamo. Ototoi Kamo, come yesterday. Again with the cross-up, man. Mugi not ready for it. Ooh, fortunately for him, lives to fight another day. Gets the opening. Ah, uh, not going to be enough to kill, is it? Ah, uh, I think it is gonna. Yeah, it's gonna kill. This is death. Bye bye. Ah, uh, Tsuboy might have want to. Yeah, yeah. That that was a that was a dumb question. <laughs> but then again, um, the proration, not proration, but um, uh, what's his name? Um, Nagoriyuki's first overdrive is not that big. It's not that. It doesn't deal that much uh, damage. But yeah, then again, it is chip. So yeah, it makes it makes sense. Yo, yo, I'm doing pretty good, and I hope that you are as well. What's up, bruh? And here we go with the wall break. Suboy trying to push Mugi in the corner. Very nice whiff punish. That was sick. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we go with the kill. The wall break for the kill. Suboy, man, I'm taking the first match. Pretty convincingly. Still hype for me, though. Can't believe a Smash Play one. I know, I know, right? That was sick. I have a good stuff from Leffen though, but I still wish that uh, Darwino uh, would won. I really wish he did, but it is what it is. But I'm looking forward to the new mechanics of the game, offensive and defensive. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this pans out, man. Seriously, I really hope like the defensive, uh, this defensive uh, like mechanic that's gonna be implemented in Strive is gonna be enough to deal with the uh, the, the guard breaks. I guess. Hopefully, it will. Ah, uh, because, man, top three ain't too shabby. Daru will get it next. Yeah, hopefully, man. Top three is definitely good. Oh, de definitely. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's happy with his performance. And I'm happy for his performance as well. I just wish he, he'd won, obviously. But, I mean, it, it's fine. It's fine. And here we go with... Oh, Lord! 
Subway man with the optimized combo gets the kill. Boogie man. Boogie looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Ooh, the summer gets grabbed. Oh lord. Here we go the grab uh, with the um the opening. Oh lord, again with the freaking overhead man and two boy sniffing that burst out. Nice two S right there. Boots boy almost got the kill and gets the kill with the RC. Lord, two boy on fire today. What the hell is going on? Oh, sorry, but this one here. Perfect. Again with the tick pressure man. Ooh, almost got the jump in, but again, man, two boy with the freaking whiff punishes. Nice stuff from Two Boy going for uh, the wall break. Ooh! Uh oh, oh Lord! And Moogie should be able to take this one. Yeah. Nice stuff from Moogie. Not out of this yet. Definitely needs the this one as well in order to shift the tides of battle. Guess the guess the juggle gonna get the wall break. Wow, half of your life already gone. Understandably so. Oh, wake up BP by two, boy. Of course. Nice blocks. But Moogie, man. Ah, getting the kill with the 4K. Finally, Moogie putting one on the board. Ah, yeah, what does she show in Shimashoka? I think so. Ah, oh, okay, here we go with uh, the first round of this fourth map. Okay, nice stuff from you're gonna get the wall break with the OD. It should be able yeah, it's gonna kill. <laughs> it is definitely gonna kill. Bye bye, kaboom! <laughs> Good stuff from me. Oh, gets a whiff punish with the Beyblade. Unfortunately, gets hit by the wake up DP from Tsuboy. Ah, uh, they didn't block the overhead. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, nice stuff from Moogie. Tried to get the back dash, but yeah, Tsuboy just resorting to jumping up. Ah, uh, Tsuboy uh, almost getting the freaking. Oh, gets the overhead. Is that? Yeah, it's definitely gonna go. Just like this, Tsuboy on set point, man. Looking to seal everything out. Oh, with that air grab though from Moogie. Getting the. Ooh, the push in the corner. Tsuboy getting hit by the close S. Everybody's close S. Oof. Ooh, a big 2 HS counter hit. Couldn't quite get the juggle off of it though. Oh, wow, that was an awkward DP. And yes, Moogie sealing it out, man. Make on the verge of doing a comeback right there. Good stuff from Moogie. Let's see. Nice jump in from Suboy. Oh, Lord. Oh, getting hit by the Beyblade counter. Suboy, oh, man, just bursting his heart out right now. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go, the jump in. Oh. Moogie though! Moogie! Let's see how this spins out. Nice close S! Moogie trying to read that jump and trying to grab, but nobody was there. Not, not over yet! So boy with the wall break combo. Well, literally the wall combo, I might say. Oof, nice mix. Right there from Moogie, and just like this, Moogie on set point this time around. It's really gonna be able to bring it back. Nice check right there from Moogie, getting hit by the DP. Oh, and Tsuboy trying to get the grab, but Moogie reading and just backdashing. Ah, good stuff from Moogie. Ooh, and Moogie taking it. Oh, Lord, with the reverse 3-0. That was sick. That's good too here. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good as well, man. I've, 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 all my day I've been just watching Evo. So yeah, it couldn't have been a better day than 
than today. Yeah, today was really awesome. Like back to back, the freaking Guilty Gear Strive top six and uh, Three Fighter one also was really entertaining. Definitely looking forward to the uh, season three of uh, Guilty Gear as well with the new mechanics, you know, offensive and defensive one as well. But especially the uh, the new move. I'm not looking forward to that new cancel that May got though, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Probably gonna, they're probably gonna buff freaking Happy Girls as well, I suppose. <laughs> but anyways, on to the next battle, Caffeine versus Eto. Let's see how this fans out. Caffeine or strongest uh, Jacko in the tournament currently. But we do have a second uh, Jacko as well, Hagiara, I do believe is still in the tournament. Unfortunately for Hagiara, for Caffeine got opened up by uh, Eto and lost the first round, but it's still okay. I uh, know Hagiara is out. Unfortunately, but it's fine. It, it'll be okay. So, Caffeine, the sole representative of uh, Jacko in this tournament today. Imagine if they buff May and add the special. You know what? Knowing Arxis, I'm pretty sure they are going to buff May. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm 75% sure that they're going to buff her. And she already has the special right now. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to buff her. She's, she's literally already buffed thanks to this special anyway. So, so we'll see. We'll see. But... Then the new mechanics might help to deal with her pressure a little bit more. I don't know. I need to see exactly how these uh these these buttons work. You know, the, these new mechanics work, and then I could give my an educated guess. But from what I saw, it has potential. But yeah, anyways, yeah, May definitely seems like she seems like she's gonna be a problem <laughs> as always. Anyways, here we go with uh, the second match. Hito making quick work of Caffeine during the first one, though. Caffeine not really knowing what to do currently. Trying to put as many minions on the on the floor as possible. You guys complained about Rem and May before? Haha, <laughs> you just played. Yeah, it seems like the more you complain about a character, the the more horrible Arxis makes them. Like, it really seems to be the case. Because, I mean... And when you complain too much about a character not being strong enough, Arxis like completely ignores the, the character. <laughs> exactly, we're giving Happy Chaos a, a shotgun or something. No, seriously, man, it's crazy. I don't understand this phobia that Arxis has when it comes to nerfing like top tiers. I really don't understand them. Right? They're blocking Ram just to get hit by the sword explosion. Exactly, like they're putting her, they're putting you in a freaking vortex now with her. Like, it's, it, I don't understand, man. Sin Bros. Yeah, exactly. It's the same, bro. It was a little clip and they might have buffed our far slide. Ah, perfect. That's good. Well, that's all the all the things I'm uh, I'm hoping for you, bro. I really hope it's the case. I'd like a little bit of buffs for Eno as well. But then again, Eno is really very, uh, very complete right now, if I might say. She does have a lot of bad matchups when it comes to the upper part of the tier list. But she's relatively viable, I feel. But I, I'd like, yeah, a treat a bit, you know? I want a working backdash. This is the one thing I'll truly bitch about on Sin. It's useless. I say, I see. Yeah, the backdash of Eno is not very, very, well, very good either. So I can definitely understand. Either faster or more in vulnerability. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to other, to another move for, for Eno. I just feel like she's one move short of being complete. And I feel like it, she's not complete yet. So we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully the, I'm kind of hoping they put like uh, vertical uh, chemical up. I'm kind of hoping, but I, I'm yeah, I don't think they will. Anyways, Eno could uh, really use another move. Yeah, you know, right? And she she'd be more fun to play as well, because right now she's very linear. There's not many character expression you can have with the character. I feel, unless you have bar, that is. Uh, but uh, if they add like another move to her to her move list, it might open like combo routes that makes the character a lot funnier to play. I feel that's how I f I, I see Eno because Eno is pretty boring once you get you you know everything to do with her. I feel like she's a very you know straightforward, very boring character. Even her offense is like either you know you know her offense like overhead or low, and you know it's, everything is very straightforward. I feel like she would benefit from having a little bit more depth, and that would mainly uh, go through 
adding new mechanics in the game for her to have the chance of expressing herself more uh, efficiently, I feel. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's the reason why I'm really looking forward to Season 3. Give her more combo game and... Yeah, exactly, man. Just more combos, you know? Just n new routes that you can actually use and make the character more funny through it, basically. Yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly it. She's very boring to play once you know her ins and outs. Because even her offense is very freaking straightforward. And you know when... The offense is too straightforward. It's kind of boring to just play it all the time, all the same patterns, all the same thing. That's the reason why I feel like, yeah, more combo potential might put more spice in it, I suppose. But yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we will. Anyway, it's Caffeine up 2 to 1, man. Doing a pretty good job against Ito. Ito definitely feeling himself pretty good today. He's been uh, doing fantastic well. He, uh, I think he defeated Akihira as well, sending him in the loser's bracket. No! That being said, Caffeine out of the corner. No 6B there, but it's okay. Caffeine has the grab. Went for the cross up. Woo! Ah, uh, trying to bait that DP so bad. <laughs> Very nicely done by Ito. Goes straight for the overdrive. For the Ototoy, come on! Oh, nice bag that's right there from Caffeine. Oh lord! Captain trying to read a hit right there using the guard point and checking the the sprints from Eto by using the two K. Good lord! Oof! No! Oh, nice grab from Caffeine. Manages to get the first round of this fourth map. <laughs> lord! Caffeine just trying to get at the distance where they can react to the jump. The uh, jump AAD, IAD, the IAD, yeah. Thank you very much for the follow, Raiden, and welcome to the Brojo. And here we go with the corner pressure. Caffeine trying to go for the grab. Unfortunately, gets jumped on by Eto. Eto probably trying to bait that burst. Oh, wow. Getting that le last second wall break. Uh, last second, yeah, wall splat. Thankfully for him. Wow, but look at that, Caffeine with the three minions and it's just letting it rip. <gasps> oh no, you hate to see it. Driver, this is gonna do a ton of damage, look at this. And Caffeine short on opening their opponent, goes for the grab. Woo, gets the minion throw and the minion follow up for the kill. Caffeine's all good to go. So Cal versus uh, Dark Necro, his name is out of frame, let me put it back in uh, the frame and probably change it, did I change the, I did, all good. Cal versus uh, Dark Necro, <laughs> poor Cal, <laughs> Gamba <take out> of... <laughs> yeah poor Cal, yeah, uh, fighting against Dark Necro is never really easy, obviously, because he's a, well he's a very very strong uh, player, so obviously it's not easy. Anyways, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry for the wait. Okay, good stuff from Dark Negro. Gets the corner positioning, but Cal, man, pressing them buttons to get out. And finds the opening, too. Again with the forest, man. And that should be enough to kill. Imagine making weak character viable. <laughs> Just get May a mix up on her dolphin. On her dolphin, that is already a mix up, by the way. <laughs> Let, let us give her a mix-up inside of her mix-up to make her even more annoying to try to block. Uh, really, I, I don't know. But then again, yeah, they cannot give, like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like May is pretty complete. She didn't really necessarily need an additional hit, an additional move. I don't think so. And here we go with Dark Necro with the raw, the raw overdrive. Nice, Johnson, keep... 
<rire> ah ouais, tu kiffes toi, hein, les... Tu kiffes les miroirs de Nagot, hein, c'est ton match préféré, toi, non <rire> C'est quoi, quand j'ai vu les deux qui allaient s'affronter... Quand j'ai vu les deux qui allaient s'affronter, je me dis putain, si Exo, il était là, il, il serait pas content. <rire> quand on parle du lot. <rire> ah putain, ce, cette coïncidence, quand même. C'est assez marrant, hein. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the blue RC mix up right there from Dark Tank. We're gonna get the wall break. Yeah, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't count on any nerf on any of the the top the top characters. Like Arxis has uh, surprised me in a in a wrong way, like several times in a row. I don't believe that they they have the intention of, of nerfing like the top characters at all. So. It is what it is. Oui, le seul set que j'ai skip. <laughs> bah voilà, maintenant, euh, le destin te l'imposer. Wow, that was a lot of food kills right there from Dark Negro. Hopefully, it's not gonna make his blood gauge too high too quick. Oh no! And that freaking burst, babe! Look at Dark Negro going completely ham, doing the Fukio dance. Wow, and look at the damage! Dark Necro going completely ham, taking that first round, uh, that first match. That was pretty sick, not gonna lie. And here we go with Rose's team from uh, Street Fighter 4. We heard the Street Fighter 5 a little bit earlier, but this time it's gonna be the Street Fighter 4 one. Oh no! Cal actually burst! You hate to see it, but nice uh, patience from Cal to not actually uh, use the his burst during his blood explosion because that would have been baited by Dark Negro. Oh, you wanted that wall break so bad, but couldn't quite get it. Ah, Cal with the freaking bite. Is that gonna be enough to kill? Yes, it is. Good stuff from Cal. Going with the double, the triple six, uh, six agent. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nice bag dash from Cal, that was sick. Good stuff. Got. Oh no! That was a bad burst, Dark Negro. Okay, what is gonna be the mix? Oh wow, big concepts right there from Dark Negro. We're gonna get the the juggle and the corner carry. Big damage right there. Oof. And Dark Negro. Oh, air Dark Negro, bro. That was a huge 2HS, he wasn't able to to uh, juggle off of it. Goes for the content for the freaking bag dash. Good stuff from Cal, puts one on the board. Very nicely done. <laughs> I thought they were gonna go for a... Oh. Wow, again Dark Dick Roll with... What the hell is going on? That was sick. Dark Negro all over the freaking screen. Gotta get the wall break. Ooh! And a follow up of the DP for the kill. Dark Negro definitely not out of this yet. Ooh! Kaboom! And Dark Negro with the grab. Ooh! Catching the back dash for the 2D. That being said, Akal does not have a lot of. Yeah leeway when it comes to uh to blood gauge unfortunately for him going down ever so slightly but nice to us into the two hs goes for the double fukio in order to get the grab but dark necro reading it back dashes and punishes dark is out i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna play it like very very sweaty <laughs> Anyways, here we go to boy versus Caffeine. I think it's the first time each of uh, both of them play against each other. Ooh, and poor two boy's name is out of the frame. And Caffeine already forcing two boy to pop the burst. And vice versa. Nice shakes right there from two boy getting rid of the minions as you should. Strive is such a fun game, man. Quick, simple. Yeah, I really like it. I love Strive. It's like one of my favorite fighting games in the world. Like, I'm definitely, I'm not capping, like, of all time also, by the way. And, uh, it's just that, yeah, my, I feel like Eno's a little bit boring to play right now. I, or the game in itself is a little bit boring to play as it is. 
And that's the reason why I'm really happy they'll add like new mechanics and new moves in the game. It really is like the perfect. It was the perfect um, choice for uh, for them. I feel. Uh, well, for me at least, because I'm. Th this is the only thing that really kind of made me a little bit bored to pick up Strive again to pick it back up. It's like yeah, I know I know most of the game right now. I know how things are gonna go. I know my character pretty good as well and. Playing all of this again is just gonna feel like old and, you know, I, I need something new and what they're gonna bring right now with the Season 3 is gonna be sick, I feel. New defense mechanism, new offensive mechanism as well, it's, it's gonna change the whole meta of the game, I feel, so... Because some characters who, for example, didn't necessarily have like a... Uh, like a, um, how do you say? A guard break? Or who didn't have very nice defensive capabilities, now are finally gonna be able to... Uh, well, to have defensive uh, uh, mechanism, you know, so yeah, I feel it's cool. I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. And to boy with the double overhead, holy freaking lord. Nice checks right there, front cafe. Of course, to boy pop the burst. And to boy again with the overhead, man. Goes for the load this time around. Again with the overhead. Asimoto. Woo, cuffing, catching the back dash of to boy using the 2D. Wow, and Diabar again, man, with the 2D counter hit. Kevin going for the cross up. But to put again to boy with the DP. Oh, okay, saved by the bell. Oof. <laughs> to boy and the DP, man. Oh, good lord, to boy, man. You should play Leo. Good lord. How many DPs can you fit in one DP, man? That was sick. Very nicely done. What the hell is that? Okay, just one second. Just okay, we're good to go. And forever Illusion! Thriver! Good stuff. Rome Caffeine gonna get the well bait. Ah, yeah, you can see Caffeine being very wary of the DP. Catching to boy while he was trying to. Uh, run directly towards uh, Sweet Cafe. Good counter hit right there from Capping Force and Subway to pop the burst. <laughs> Capping being very, a lot more like patient right now, not wanting to be too rash. Ooh, nice. Getting the side switch, which is even better than getting a punish. But Subway, man, with the combos, getting the wall break. Go straight into the overdrive. Oh, Totori, come on! Oh, gets the cross up! And the dribble, and this should be enough to kill or not? Oh, no, that was a bad YRC, but it's still okay. At least caught Tsubo in the air. Oh, that was a. Oh, Lord. Oh! And Caffeine. Oh, gets the fake cross up! Not enough to kill! Wow! Good Lord. Back to neutral and Caffeine getting hit by the DP man. Oh boy, the DP monster. <laughs> Good stuff from Tsuboy though. Very nicely done. And here we go with uh, the pressure. Woo! Ah, Caffeine getting hit by the 2K2D. And again with the DP man. Oh boy, you cannot. You cannot encourage this dude not to, uh, not to, not to do. Very nice little dance. Here we go with Bill's background music. Woo. Oh no! Uh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew somebody was gonna go for the DP. This a from Tsuboy goes for the cross up, unfortunately gets. Oh lord! Ah, and here we go with yep, with Fresher Land. Good stuff from Cafe. Definitely not out of this yet. Big 2D counter hit and the follow up with Tsuboy goes for the freaking overhead. Even gets a follow up with it. Oh sick! Oh lord! 
Oh, damn confirms young man reaction right there. Still boy straight into the OD for the wall break. Gonna go for the low for the kill. And just like this, man, two boy on match point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? No anti air from Cafe. Good air to air from Cafe. But two boy not out of this yet. The pressure is real. Big Alpha Blade from Tsuboy. Gets a lot of mileage right there off of it. Oh no, and Tsuboy with the perfect spacing. He should be able to seal it out. Yeah, yeah, this is good stuff from Tsuboy. Takes it a clean three to nail. Stripe, the thing that was lacking a Stripe is the defensive. Um, the defensive mechanism and whatnot. I feel like this is definitely going to breathe, uh, is going to bring more defensive possibilities for some of the characters of the cast who have like literally zero defensive options. It's going to be crazy because me and Ram needed those two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But hopefully the new mechanism is going to make it so that we can bypass some of, you know, their very strong tools, hopefully. Wow, man. Anyway, there we go with Hagiara. Very nice with Punish. Goes for the fake cross up. Woo! Versus the YRC. Nice back dash right there from Hagiara. A brave bag that should just me. Almost had the pu the, um, the punish on the 2HS. Uh, Very nice CD right there from Hagela. Goes straight into the Illusion Driver. Driver! Gets the kill. Again, on to the next battle. Wow, well, again with the bag dash, man. Hagela. Noticing what only Dark Necro is looking for. Nago player is only one wants one thing and it's disgusting. <laughs> Want to bite you. Driver! Not enough to kill? But definitely close to it. Okay, I gotta try and find this whole thing. Just one hit it should be able to get and gets it with the 2D into the soccer kick. Good stuff from Hagara. Let's see if Dark Necro can bring some sort of adjustments. We shall see. Ooh, it gets a grab this time around. And gets the bite also this time around. Oh, gets the tick pressure. Goes for the air. Only Dark Necro setup. Oh, no entire right there. Unfortunately for them. This stuff from oh lord and I gotta just letting it rip. As they should and look at the damage, damn. That is looking pretty good for Agata. The comeback is definitely oh no, not like this. Almost got the kill. No, and the Agata was on the verge of getting their comeback. That was so sick. Good stuff from Agata though. Still not over till it's over though. Ooh, nice check right there from Hagara. Gonna get the grab. And the cross up. Ooh, that's a big standing HS counter hit though. Still the, didn't go. Oh lord, and the soccer kick raw, bro. That was a big soccer kick. Holy freaking lord. Nice box. And the checks. And Ch Hagara with the checks again. Good lord. On the verge of uh, taking a pretty hefty lead. If everything goes according to Kekago, nice take right there from Magyara. Goes for the guard point, wow. Nice guard point. Magyara getting some more lead, uh, in real estate. Oh lord. Nice checks from Oni oh, Dark Dig Roll. That being said, ooh. Oh lord. Ooh, ah, that was so close. No. Dark Negro had the bite. Ah, uh, I gotta try to go for the side switch. Was a little bit too far for it. That is unfortunate for Dark Negro. He went for the burst at a pretty. At a pretty risky timing and unfortunately lost the round for it. I get up 2 to 0. 
to the next battle. Dark Decker with the grab. Oh lord! Oh, the Dark Necker in the house, yo! That setup is so sick, though. Ah, oh, lord. Everybody becoming Eno. <laughs> with instant overhead and, and stuff. And here we go, the wall break. Ooh, how yeah, again scooped by that DP, but still okay. I am not out of this yet. Is he opening? You can see Dark Necro trying to hold on to his dear his dear uh burst. Ah, oh, I guess the jump in and the follow-up for the kill. And Dark Necro bring it back actually, two to two. Uh, is he gonna eliminate Hagera? We shall see. Hagera won a pretty nice tournament yesterday, actually. Okay, on. Ah, two to one. Ah, so long this call. Are? Mugi, eh, to Dark Necro san, tashka ni sono mae wa mo sude ni ichi datan de. Ah, ma iya. Ma, daijou des. Mugi san no yutori kamoshire nai nude. Mugi-sanをしにょしてるからおそらくMugi-san を俺よりは見てると思うと思う。本当に。ありがとうございます。じゃあ、ニーチですね。多分、OKです。じゃあ、ニーチにしましょう、とりあえず。And here we go with Dark Necro and the wall break for the kill! Dark Necro bringing it back! Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, the triple Kukyo. Ooh, he's really good work. Good stuff from oh Lord and the grab by Hagiara trying to get the grab again gets a knockdown. Nice pressure, man! And here we go. This is hell on earth. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna press a button. Nice wire see right there from Oni Dark Necro gets out of the corner. His pressure gauge, his uh, wrist gauge also went down. By a lot, so no more no problem uh, on that front. That being said, <sighs> big two S two A. Oh Lord, not like this. Okay, let's see if it was the case. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you told me this, Okay, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. It is two versus two. Well, uh, two. Yeah. Two matches apiece. Let's see who is going to take it. We shall see. Very nice grab from Dark Necro. Especially for him, gets grabbed by Hagiara and opened by the uh, the empty load. Nice check from Hagiara. Gets the 2k 2d. Ah, good lord. And here we go with the pressure, bro. Nice work, see. And back to the corner it is. That was a big opening for Dark Necro. And here we go with the 2S for the kill. Dark Necro on the verge of Making a reverse 3-0 right there. Damn. Let's see if he manages to pull it off or not. Very nice fake cross up right there from Hagera. Gets the shimmy and the punish. Directly into the elite Elysian driver. Elysian driver. See how this pins out. Ooh, nice backdash again from Hagiara. It's been working a lot in his favor. Unfortunately, runs straight into the arms of Dark Negro. Oof. Yeah, uh, Hagiara content to just try to zone. Ah, uh, gets open. Oh, no! No, too far to get it. Too far, but too close. And again, man, Dark Negro again right in front of the face of Hagiara, bro. Oh, Lord, and the clash in favor of Dark Necro. And gets the kill with the Akuma Ball. We're going down to the last round of the last match. 
Nice 6 speed from Hagela. Forcing Dark Necro to wake up with the burst. Ooh, get 6 speed yet again. Again with the Cloest counter hit, man. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, Lord. Hagela going straight into the overdrive. And going to get the kill. Hagela eliminating Dark Negro from the... Get, uh, get myself a glass of water. Be right back. Yeah, the time zone was uh, it was still okay because basically Strive started at 8 a.m. Japanese time, so it wasn't too bad. Seriously, it wasn't that bad, but uh, it's just that I've been watching it. I've been watching like fighting game content ever since this morning. Yeah, I'm pretty beat J just for yeah because it was Evo and everything. So I didn't catch the the Tekken one though because Tekken is not my. Not really uh, my uh, my type of games, but yeah, oh, it was cool. I remember seeing up hella late to watch you. It can be Strive was at uh, 2 a.m. or uh, 12, 2:30. Yeah, for Japanese time it was like uh, it was 8 a.m. So it was definitely okay. I'm glad Strive is in the last game. Streets has taken that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because that would have been late. I would have. Yeah, yeah. I get, I understand. Uh, yeah, at least uh, Street, Street, you could basically watch it at a reasonable time pretty much every, anywhere, so that was cool. And Street was really freaking hype, holy freaking lord. That was, there were so many good matches in Street. Well, even in Strive, you asked me, it, it was really nice. I didn't know Misho had such a good, uh, Soul as well. Very strong player, man. Um, not in UK. Ah, damn it. Yeah, UK. Yeah, Europe is always a little bit of a problem, I suppose. Wow, and TUI, bro. TUI, bro. Boom. With the Luga, whatever. I forgot the name of this uh, society. Overdrive. TUI takes the first match. For streets. I see, I see. Oh, so yeah. That means that Strive must have started like 2 or 1 a.m., I guess. We always have trouble with American tournaments. Yeah, sometimes Japanese ones. I can understand. Uh, if it's if it's at night in Japan, I think you guys should be able to catch it at a relatively convenient time, depending on uh, which day it is, I suppose. So I started at some time. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Understood. Yeah, us. It started at 8 a.m. and uh, street started at 11 a.m. basically in Japan. So it was, it was definitely good. It's definitely doable, but it's just that I woke up early just to be sure not to to miss anything, basically. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's it's pretty cool. Yo, Smiley, my brother from another mother. Thank you very much for the raid, bro. As always, much appreciated. Street was a great time for JP, man. Oh, it was, man. For Japan, yeah, it was definitely. And for JP as well. <laughs> A very good time for JP as well. Lots of Japanese players play, uh, play JP. Smoybraid! Indeed, how are you doing, Smoke? Did you like the EVO? Did you like the EVO result? And did you like the Season 3 announcement for Strive, bro? I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> Except for that May buff that everybody hated and booed off stage. <laughs> But yeah, overall, definitely some very nice announcements we had during the EVO, yeah. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Season 3 of Guilty Gear Strive. That being said, here we go with TY and the Ototoy Kamo. Thank you very much for the follow, Killer Jag, and welcome to the Pro Drop. EVO was very nice. I didn't pay too much attention to Strive, but SF6... Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't pay attention to Strive, really? It was actually pretty hype, man. It was really nice. They made the announcement for Season 3 and, you know, new mechanics. New moves, new lots of things, you know. 
They definitely got uh, oh me too, me too, ghost. Definitely me too. I'm definitely looking forward to um, grinding. I'm definitely gonna grind season uh, three. The new mechanics are gonna bring a new, you know, uh, breath of fresh air to the to the game. I feel. And Johnny, man, yeah, Johnny was sick. That freaking trailer was crazy. Yeah, me too. The patch notes, I'm definitely looking forward to as well. I do. I don't have lots of expectations though, to be really, really honest, because Arxis is not really known to nerf what is. It, what is uh, what is required to be nerfed, and they don't tend to buff what is required to be buffed. So I, I don't have a lot of faith for it. But yeah, sometimes they you know they send a bone here and there to the characters in the play. So yeah, we'll see. They give a strive. Yeah, exactly. I'm definitely looking forward to it. That being said, holy freaking lord, Ty on a on a pain train right now. I'm not expecting that a lot of the community does though. Patch culture has kind of been a problem of the... Yeah, yeah I can understand. Three seems to be uh, Arxis' lucky number, because reason three always pops up for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Since some other games got patched like every two, four weeks, you gotta adapt. Well, I don't necessarily need a patch like every... Yeah, uh, two to four weeks is obviously not a good idea. But like... Taking the um, the approach of Street Fighter 6, for example, they said they would patch like do one big patch a year. I feel, I feel like this is fine, but the, the difference between Capcom and Arxis is that Cap Arxis never never nerfs really nerfs. They never really 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 nerf. And sounds like Mortal Kombat, isn't it? Uh, FG fighting games shouldn't ah Garo okay. shouldn't get balanced patches often, in my opinion. One big one, uh, yeah yeah, it's fine. But yeah, I'm fine with one a year, but at least make the, the changes significant, you know? Because yeah, Guilty Gear is like, okay, we buff all the time, we never nerf, and it's like, uh, yeah, but some characters don't need buffs, they just need to be toned down a bit, you know? And I feel like Arxis is always very scared of that. They, they're scared of nerfing, I feel. Well, they're scared of nerfing certain characters, certain top tiers. They're never scared of nerfing already bad characters. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, it's fine. Anyways, here we go with uh, the knockdown, and I got getting the confirm for the kill. Oh, I got on freaking point today, man. What the hell is going on with him? Let's see if he is going to get his run back with against me. We shall see. Ooh, almost got the pickup right there. Very nice counter hit right there from Hagala. Getting the schmix is no entire, but that being said, it was pretty hard to entire. Woo! Got the punish on the 2 HS though. That was pretty good. Woo! No punish on the DP, no! You hate to see it. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, Lord, the 5 HS to cast the bag dash. Tough topic, some characters do need nerfs, but in my opinion, we're more in need of buffs than nerfs in this game. It's nice to... Oh, really? Even, like, characters like Happy Chaos and... And, uh, what's their name? Uh, Ram and... You think these characters don't necessarily require nerf well to be fair ram i don't well, i don't know actually I, I think ram is pretty strong though yeah uh that being said first match goes to how you know i mean like this game is in balance like uh league of legends so i have no uh knowledge regarding this game so yeah i can't give any educated uh um opinions on this one no no we need some nerfs aha okay mostly okay gotcha gotcha leo i feel leo is fine the way he is yeah Nope, just buff, buff others. <laughs> ah, my Twitch is on you. I feel like, I, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's fair enough. But usually, what happens is that Arxis tends to buff everyone, some more than others. But well, they do nerf sometimes, but it's like not that big of a nerf, and it doesn't really impact the way that the that the character carries on his uh very strong gameplay so I, I don't even know but not even big nerfs yeah yeah that's the thing that's the thing yeah it's not even very big nerfs not significant ones damn Hagara is on a freaking he's on the on the streak man he's really playing very good today more so we need buffs for good person of the cast not often even huge ones yeah exactly I agree as well yeah anyways oh no no entire right there 
from Hagera gonna get, uh, yeah, gonna get schmixed. Oh, well, not schmixed, gonna get wall broken. See how this pans out. Mune! Ashimoto! Ah, she's gonna do a lot of them and not gonna kill. The boy going straight for the overdrive. There's gonna be the schmix. Ah, oh, try to go. Oh, actually, that was a fake over. Yeah, just minor nerfs to some top tiers that wouldn't turn off their respective players would be good. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And I feel like Arceus is really afraid of turning off their 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 player base. And they they probably think that yeah, I'm gonna nerf the funny part of this character. Well the funny part. <laughs> the funny part of this character for the player that is playing him. <laughs> Definitely not for the guy who's on the receiving end, but anyways. Yeah, if we nerf the funny parts of this character, then the player who plays it is not going to be happy or whatnot, you know? Well, it obviously is not, but... I mean... I'm pretty sure that most happy Chaos players understand that their character is very fucking strong. <laughs> At least I hope so. <laughs> and that it wouldn't be very unfair for happy Chaos in question to actually research some nerfs, I guess. But anyways... I think you have a happier time if everyone character gets to cook, rather than just constantly bringing them now. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that, that's basically the uh, the mindset of Arxis, I feel. Some folks, they are not going to be ready for Happy Chaos only receiving minor nerfs. I'm telling you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I, I'm 100% I'm sure that the nerfs, if nerfs they receive, uh, that the top tiers are going to receive are going to be really insignificant. They're going to be like really, really insignificant, in my, in my honest opinion. Yeah. Happy Gas is in the game to check the other top tiers. I actually agree with you, bro. I really do. Happy Gas deserves nerfing, but not as much as many things. Yeah, me too, me too. RNG shot is kind of stupid. What I hate is, um. What I really hate is. The. the he has some very awesome normal. Like, his 2S goes super freaking far. It goes like to an absurdly, uh, it has an absurd high high reach, you know. I feel like nerfing it, like altering like the hitbox or whatnot, might be a good idea. And often, and also, I don't like that he's capable of shooting while he's in the air. It makes it extremely hard to entire him, like and sometimes impossible because he basically shoots your six feet, and so it's increasingly like hard to six feet his ass. I feel. But other than that, I feel it's okay-ish, I guess? I don't really know. I haven't played Guilty Gear in a long time, so I don't really, really know exactly. But the problem with HC, since they won, is that they never address the fact that they... Yeah. Yeah. Also, this is... Yeah, to whiff punish this mother... Thumper is really, really hard. <laughs> it's really, really freaking hard. Because you can, yeah, you can make everything safe, basically. And Hagiara, man, he's gonna be on set point right there. Agree about Happy Gas only getting minor nerfs. People asking to have him getting shot <laughs> in the balance department are not thinking straight. Yeah, yeah. Like, he could receive some minor nerfs, you know, but some significant nerfs, you know, not just like a tap on the on the back of the hands. He just he just needs to be he he does need to be uh, toned down a bit. I feel. Uh, personally, yeah, I feel. Like, also, like he's the story villain. We can't have him be shit. Yeah, I can understand. We just can't. I can understand. I can understand. I don't know. I don't know how we would go around. It, like Happy Cows is a very strange archetype character, and I feel like it's extra. Uh, and just like this, Hagiala actually moves on three, two. Well, he can still. Say, yeah, exactly. That's it. They made his close up, uh, his close up uh, game extremely strong. That's what they did, and nerf a bit of his uh, long range game. So. It's like, okay, well, now we have two problems to worry about. It's like, okay, well, I'm a bit of an HC hate hater, but I'll still defend him if necessary. I think we need some system change to probably the bonus. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think HC is dope as hell. I don't really like it. I hate HC personally, but I, I do understand the necessity of... Um... Okay, so what I was going to say before is that Happy Gauss, it has an archetype... Uh has an archetype that is very easy to make completely overpowered and that is however very easily to make completely trash 
So if you really don't balance him adequately, he's going to end up being the trash character of the game. That's the problem with Happy Chaos as well. His archetype makes it so that he can be either like strong as hell or weak as F, you know? It's either one or the other. I don't think there there can be like a a middle ground for the archetype of Happy Chaos. That's that's what I get personally. Hmm. Uh, he, yeah, he's super hard to balance, I feel. Trouble is a lot of people. I just wish he wasn't in the game, personally. Because of that specific, uh, th that specific, like, um... Because of that specific, I won't call it a fact, because you, can, you can't really, like, prove it. But because of that, that, uh, that, that, that notion, you know? That his archetype is really, it can be very strong or very, very bad, you know? Trouble is, a lot of people want him to be bottom three. Yeah, I, I, me included. <laughs> me included, but I, I, I recognize and I admit that I don't like the character, and I, and I really just want him out of the game. Yeah, like if I had a, it, I, I'm an asshole, I know, but if I had like uh, the the potential, the power to do so, I'd make it so that Happy Chaos was not in the game at all. Like he, he never existed. Personally, I absolutely hate this character's artifact. I just find him very unfun to play against and very boring to watch as well. And that's the reason why I, I, I do. Not just because he's a very horrible matchup for, for uh, Eno, but it's also part of it. But I just really, really hate the archetype of the character. I really just hate it. For me, it goes against what like a fighting game uh, should try to, you know, put in, put, put in, how do you say it? To promote, I guess? Yeah, but then again, it's me, you know, lots of people love Happy Chaos, and I truly do understand, you know. It's fine. It's a, you, you can love him, it's really not a problem. I absolutely hate him, but you're it, you're entitled to your own opinion. But yeah, if I had the choice, if I had, like, the power to do so, I'd make it so that Happy Chaos was either trash, or he never existed in the game. I'm really sorry to your Happy Chaos players, by the way. But yeah, it's just the way it is. It's just the way that I, I personally... Uh, consider happy <laughs> yeah, he's very polarizing he's so polarizing bro not a, a left in fan but his HC player earlier yeah I'm, I, I have to give it to big left his uh his earlier happy cast play was pretty pretty fun to watch not gonna lie but yeah it's just not fun to play against I guess you know likewise also don't really like left but the man was playing oh yeah he played out of his mind that left is a freaking prodigy whether you want to admit it or not like the dude is a freaking, he's up there, like, in all of the legends of the, the FGC, this dude is definitely up there. I don't really like his attitude, sometimes I do, well, I I, I feel like there, there can be some things to improve in his attitude, but that usually comes with when you're really, really strong at something, and, and you know you're strong at it, it's hard to be humble sometimes. Some people are better at it than others, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, Leffen is a freaking... He's a god. Like, he's really, really strong at, at fighting him. I think he's fine just because he uh, is not a pickup and win character. Yeah, well, fair enough. People just look at the annoying uh, things the character can do and get toxic on Twitter. Yeah. Likewise, it's good at uh, fighting him and this sort of stuff. We all gotta hate a character or two. Yeah, definitely. That's true. I hate Kai with every fiber of my being. <laughs> I'd have the same attitude if, it, if I were talented. Yeah, yeah, you see? Yeah. I, yeah. Probably if I was as godlike as freaking Punk and Leffen, I'd probably be worse than they are. Like, chances are I'd be worse than they are, so... It's, I cannot really, like, blame them for being the way that they are. Like, they are freaking super, super strong at fighting him. Uh, I'd be better for most... It'd be better for most people if they just accepted he was good while still not like... Yeah, exactly. But it's not that I don't like Leffen. I feel like he could improve some aspects of his, uh... Of it. It's not that I don't like him, he's actually pretty fun. Uh, I got the chance to go to karaoke with him when he went to, uh, when he came to Japan for Evo, J for Evo Japan. And, uh, yeah, no, he, he was a nice dude, like, seriously, he was very nice, so... Uh, he seemed to, like, uh, be very easy to speak with as well, but... Uh, some, some... At some random moments, he might appear as being very pretentious, I guess? Uh, but, but that that comes with the fact that he's a freaking genius, I guess, in fighting games, yeah. And yeah, it's a, just yeah, I'm just saying exactly the same thing I said earlier. But yeah, I don't dislike the dude, but yeah. 
I can't understand why people don't like him, though. <laughs> oh, that was an unfortunate burst, though. Good stuff from Ugi. Up to one game in one round, actually. Uh, left hand gets a pass. Punk does it in my book. So, Punk... What I don't really appreciate about Punk is that... She really, really, really diminishes the uh, achievements of his opponents. So, case in point, not case in point, but for example, when I remember like a couple of, well, probably last year was, probably last year's e evolution. He played in Guilty Gear Strive. I, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. And he fought against this, uh, this Gold Lewis player. I forgot the name of the Gold Lewis player, by the way. And he lost against this Gold Lewis player. He, he was sent to the losers by him. And he basically went on Twitter and popped off and said, Yeah, the reason why I lost is because this, this guy smelled so bad and whatnot. And in the end, the dude, the Gold Lewis player, got a lot of hate because of it. Because, you know, uh, some fans of, you know, some big... Uh, well, usually, when, when you're a celebrity... Well, I don't like to call the dude a celebrity, but when you have a big following... Usually the people who follow you, every every word that comes out of your mouth is going to become like, you know, the word of God. It's going to be like actual facts and without, nobody is going to fact check or try to really, uh, try to criticize, not criticize, or going to try to, uh, you know, also get the side of the person that is being attacked. They're only going to listen to the side of the person that they're following. And that can be dangerous because it can lead to bullying and whatnot. And that is something that... Uh, is different between Leffen and Punk. I feel that Leffen doesn't doesn't um, how do you call this? Doesn't uh, I was not monetize, but doesn't um, weaponize his following and uh, use it as a way to uh, like perhaps attack other characters that he uh, the players that he lost to and whatnot, you know. And that's the difference between him and Leffen, I feel. Leffen doesn't really do this, like, usually when he, well, when he loses, he kind of, sometimes he bitches, but who doesn't then again? But he doesn't, like, weaponize his, his following and say, oh yeah, I lost because the dude smelled bad or because the dude, uh, like, was, I don't know, he did this and that, and, you know, that, that's what I, I, I feel is the difference between the two. That's the reason why I, I feel like Punk, like, really needs to change some of his attitude, but recently he's been a lot more, like, considerate, I feel. So it's it's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Ahem. I've never heard a nice thing about punk. I won't talk too much shit because I haven't dealt with. Yeah, that's the thing. Also, you only see like somebody, a celebrity, or like a well-known player through um, through whatever image they want you to see them, or whatever thing you see them through. You know, for example, SNS and whatnot. This is our only real um, avenue to see what kind. Of, oh wow, that was sick from Ahagara. Getting the guard point, going straight into the uh, illusion driver, that was sick. So it's really hard to really give a, a educated, um, an educated like uh, opinion regarding these you know pro players because we're not in their um, their close circle of friends to really know if, whether they're really assholes or if it's just an image or whatnot. I feel. But yeah, anyways, I hate people who effectively use their following against other. Yeah, me too. Me too. Leffen needs to be banned from Twitter for 24 hours. <laughs> no, Leffen is okay when he loses. I feel well. He bitches a lot, but it's not like, as as I said earlier, he doesn't really weaponize his following for to attack. I never do, <laughs> but it's fine. Anyways, grand final: Ty versus Mugi. Tema show. Let's go. And some people find humble, nice players boring. Yes. Yeah, that's also a thing. Like, people like people who actually stirred the pot. You know, or who are just genuinely interesting to watch. And one of the very easy way to become entertaining is to be an asshole. <laughs> you know, because you bring drama, you bring, uh, um, and you bring, uh, well, you bring, you bring entertainment. It's, it's a form of entertainment. Yeah, you know, to, to, to be very aggressive, to be a little bit toxic-ish, I suppose. It's a form of entertainment in itself, and being too nice, being too goody two shoes, you you just you'll just end up like make people boring. Well, look like you're boring because people will think that you never take risks into really saying what you think and uh, never really taking risks 
And I feel like, yeah, this is probably the reason why controversy, contra controversial um, streamers or players or whatnot or tend to usually have a bigger following than people who are just very neutral, very not taking risk-ish when it comes to, like, talking about shit, you know? So, yeah. Tokido does that pretty well. Uh, Tokido is a little bit different, because, uh... Uh, Tokido is... Yeah, Tokido is confident, but, um... Tokido, Daigo, Haitani, Mago, fucking Fudo... All of these Japanese players, they, they are very, very strong. They know they're strong. And usually what they talk about, what they say, usually when they say, Oh, I lost because of this, I lost because of that, they're, they'll tend to never really diminish the feet of their opponent by do, saying so. Usually it's always gonna say, they're always gonna say, Ah, damn it, I lost because I forgot to do this, I forgot to do that, but my opponent did really good. You know, it's never gonna be, ah, oh, I, I lost because my my opponent was random or did that shit that made absolutely no sense whatsoever. You know, they'll, they'll never really diminish or talk shit about their, their, their opponent. So, yeah. But that's a, I guess that's a culture type of thing. Americans tend to be a little bit more, you know, uh, cockish. Cock Do you say cockish? <laughs> I feel like it's a sexual beating, but... Co co cocky, cocky, not cockish. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I said something that was totally out of... <laughs> <laughs> out of uh, yeah, co cocky yeah. <laughs> yeah, I when I said it, I was like, oh no, that's not the correct way to say it. <laughs> my bad, guys, my bad. They tend to be cocky, you know. But that's a form of entertainment, also. That's the reason why it's not such a bad thing either, you know. Yeah, shit talking is definitely an American thing. Like even in Europe, we don't really have this type of culture, so. Ah, oh, my lord, cockish. <laughs> I learned something new today. Uh, so, being confident, yeah, we'll have to see how pools line up. It, uh, unlikely, but it is possible, okay? It's much easier be- oh, it is, it is. Well, you just really need to say everything that's on your mind and not have a filter. And usually you're going to offend somebody and this is going to lead to you having some pretty interesting conversation at the end of the day. Interesting as in trash talking and whatnot. What the hell is TY doing? TY playing RAM? What the hell? I guess can create storylines exactly. That that's exactly it. Uh, by the way, my wish that Arxis would implement new special moves as a literally new instead of bringing new. Yeah, me too, bro. That would be awesome. Egotistical is a word I would use. Yeah, egotistical. Yeah, but mm. but sometimes that's another thing. Some of the American players they tend to shit talk a lot. Not because they have a big ego, but because they really just want to stir the pot. They don't necessarily think that they're better than the character, the player that they, they're, they're talking shit about. But it's just that they want to start something, you know? It's just shit talking for the pleasure of shit talking, for the pleasure of just having something interesting going on. Sometimes they just do like this, I feel. Not necessarily because they really think they're, you know, hot shit and whatnot, I feel. But that's just my impression. I'm happy for season 3 so far, my only problem is how they choose only 6 characters to give new moves to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Well, I, I guess it all depends on what type of moves they'll want to give and whatnot. T.Y. Ram, though, this is a big surprise, but it, they're just playing around right now. I think T.Y. knows that he has a second, uh... T.Y. can afford to lose one set, so what he's doing right now is probably testing Mugi. And, uh, if Mugi cannot... If Mugi defeats his Ram in this set, he's probably going to change back to either Giovanna or uh, what's their name uh, to chip in the second set. Probably that's what I think. I'm not a big fan of pot stirring, but I get it. Yeah, me neither. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it really does. I, I've, I have a very non-confrontational type of uh, um, how you say uh, personality. I don't, I don't like sh I don't like uh, shit stirring. I don't like. Uh, I don't really like, um, you know, talking down on somebody or like just uh, insulting somebody or whatnot or diminishing like the the, um, the, the achievement of uh, of somebody usually. That's just the way I am. And it's really just not in, even in French culture, I feel it's not something very prominent. We don't really like doing this type of shit. Personally, that's how I, I feel it. So yeah, we got the super of exactly. It's funny because I wonder if Potemkin would ever get a metered uh, damage list get off me move and now we have it as a system. Yeah, man, this is gonna be crazy I guess they know not everyone can actually execute and just properly Yeah, man. <laughs> to give them something that can work as similar but cost. Yeah, exactly. I am extensive though We don't know if he's actually been secretly 
uh, grinding RAM off stream. Yeah, it's perfectly possible. But then again, uh, people in Japan don't really think that RAM is strong. So I don't really see why TY would uh, be working on RAM, but he definitely has the combo though. That, that is definitely something. Uh, oh, Lord! Ah, nice grab. I like community positively. Yeah, me too. Sometimes, you know, having a beef is also good for competition, I feel. To, like, drive people to do better. And to, uh, having a good rivalry, even if you shit talk in that rivalry is good because it, it encourages you and your opponent to actually do better, I feel. It encourages you to grind and your opponent to grind as well. So, uh, to some extent, shit talking might actually be, uh, might, might have some positive uh, effects, I think. Honestly, I really do. But if it's too toxic of a shit talk, I feel like it's it might be counterproductive and might encourage people not to interact with you anymore. <laughs> That's how I see it, basically. Anyways, nice stuff from Ty. Holy freaking lord! Uh, I think Ram is overrated and uh, overhated in the West, but she's still very strong in no top three. I think that cap, but. And uh, so yeah, my problem, my gripe with this is, it's not my gripe, but my problem with this statement is that I totally agree with you, but mine, my vision is uh, biased in the sense that I I am about 75% sure that the Ram versus Eno matchup is in favor of Eno. So I have no idea how Ram um, is, uh, how, it, it, how it is hard to deal with Ram uh, with uh, other character, and it's Probably hard to deal with her, probably. But I know that, yeah, I, I feel like Eno versus Rem is really, really in, in favor of Eno, personally. That's how I feel it, personally. Templar Zondos, yeah. Maybe it's Zondo, we never know. Can't wait to go in lab with new changes coming. Me too, brah. Me too. That's the thing I'm really looking forward to, too, as well. We sometimes get a laziness culture when, where people don't want to lab solutions and just ask for nerfs. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Supposedly she invalidates a lot of the cast, yeah, especially the the higher tiers. Do they change character after each loss? I think they do. I, I think they're just really playing around right now. They're not playing their their main character. <laughs> I'm also very excited for the balance pat changes. Me too. But I'm not. Mm, I'm not expecting a lot to be honest. I feel like. Uh, I feel like, you know Arxis is you know balance patch have never really been you know worth riding home if you ask me. So I don't really have any expectation for it, to be honest. Anyways, here we go with um UI getting the wall break. As a sim player, well hey, it can only go up right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You cannot go down, don't worry. I mean even in Japan everybody thinks that Sin is ass, so I'm pretty sure he's going to get buffed during the next uh bounce pack. I think that uh Anji might get buffs as well. Bedman is definitely getting buffs. Without the shadow of a doubt. Bedman Sin is more or less guaranteed, I feel. Also, Jin Lane, you do not believe Sin needs too many buffs. I think he will, though. But I personally have some issues fighting against Sin as well. But that's just a, a, a bias of mine, you know? <laughs> Man, this tournament is turning into a, <laughs> into a podcast. <laughs> I've literally been talking about anything but the, the current matches in hand <laughs> for the past freaking two hours. But you know what? It's fine. I like it like this. It's, it's perfect. Uh, backdash is useless in some... Oh, it's useless for some characters. It, bigger characters actually really need their backdashes. And Pot's backdash is pretty good. Uh, what's his name again? I've heard his name. Uh, Nagoriyuki's is actually pretty good as well. Uh, ah, the backdash of, uh, of Sin you're talking about. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's probably useless. I saw, uh, and then you said, and Eat is useless. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, sorry. I, I kind of misunderstood uh, there. Okay, we got you. Ooh, that's un unfortunate. They need to be careful. He could be hella ignorant. <laughs> ignorant! You're ignorant! <laughs> the bi-weekly strife podcast that comes with the tournament, exactly. Oh, I don't mean back there. Yeah, no problem. 28 frames, 6 frame in both. Okay, got you. Yeah, that is pretty, uh, pretty bad. Oh lord, and my lord, the Abari from TY, is he gonna get it? Here we go with the corner pressure. TY going for the same drop, oh, bait the freaking tech attempt from Moogie. Nice bag that from TY, oh, gets hit by the far S though. I don't care what is gonna happen, nice grab from TY, and TY should be able to take it. If he doesn't drop it, 
takes it with the freaking Calvin Toss for the kill! And just like this, T.Y. is your brother.